Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good morning class It's Miss Bella again How are you today? I hope you're doing excellent And if you're not I hope you get better Today we are going to continue our lesson With unit 9 A heart of gold Let's get started before we start reading, let's check out some vocabulary related to today's lesson. Muffin tin. Muffin tin. As you can see, this is a, like a container or satu bekas yang digunakan untuk membakar muffin. Paper cups. Paper cups. Mangkuk kertas yang disusun kebiasaannya kalau nak buat cupcake ataupun muffin kita akan guna paper cups ni dalam muffin tin. Electric mixer, electric mixer. Wire rack, wire rack. You should look at the thing that the arrow is showing. Anak pandan ni tengah tunjuk satu equipment yang dipanggil wire rack. Usually we use this to cool off things. Nak sejukkan makanan, uh, usually we use this. Chocolate sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles. Sejenis uh, taburan biasanya diletak sebagai topping atas makanan seperti kek ataupun donat. Page 86, let's read. Kamini is planning to make cupcakes for her visit to a home for the elderly. Here is the recipe she used. So, Kamini merancang untuk buat kek cawan sempena dia punya lawatan ke rumah orang-orang tua. A home for the elderly. Here is the recipe she used. Ini adalah recipe yang digunakan oleh Kamini. Let's look at the ingredients. So this is a recipe for butter cupcake. Kek cawan perisa mentega. Okay, the ingredients are 110 gram of butter, softened. Maksudnya mentega ni dia dalam, um, di keadaan dia lembut. Bukan cair tau. Softened. Biasanya pada suhu bilik, kita biarkan dulu pada suhu bilik. Keluarkan dari peti sejuk. Biarkan dulu kat luar selama beberapa min, eh, beberapa minit ke macam tu lah. Kadang-kadang ada orang rendam dalam air panas. Bila pegang uh, mentega tu, uh, dia tak dia masih lagi sejuk. Tapi dia dah lembik. Uh, softened. Not melted. Bukan cair tau. 110 grams of caster sugar. Gula caster. 100, uh, 110 grams of plain flour. 2 medium eggs, 2 telur bersai sederhana, 2 teaspoon of baking powder, 2 sudu teh baking powder, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of salt, chocolate sprinkles. Let's look at the steps how to bake this butter cupcake. First, we have to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Kena panaskan dahulu oven itu pada suhu 180. Preheat maksudnya sebelum kita guna untuk bakar tu kita panaskan dulu. Preheat. Panaskan terlebih dahulu. Okey. Uh, Kadang-kadang ada orang yang uh, nak drive kereta kan. Before the yeah, before someone drive the car, dia akan uh, turn on the engine tu untuk panaskan dulu engine. Lebih kurang macam tu lah konsep dia. Okay, second step is to line a muffin, muffin tin with paper cups. You already know what is a muffin tin. We already see the picture of this just now. Line means susun. Okay, susun the uh, uh, muffin tin ni dengan paper cups. Okay, line susun. Put the butter and sugar in a bowl. Letakkan mentega dan gula in a bowl. Beat until light and fluffy with an electric mixer. Okay, uh, masukkan butter and sugar dalam mangkuk. 
bit kufur sehingga ringan dan uh, gebu dia punya uh, adunan itu campuran tu tadi dengan menggunakan pengadun elektrik electric mixer sift the flour baking powder salt into the bowl sift means ayak nak tengok tak ibu ataupun uh, keluarga you ayak sesuatu ada orang dia ayak tepung untuk uh, buang uh, macam um, benda-benda asing yang dalam tepung tu lah kadang kalau nak buat kek kita ayak supaya tepung tu lebih uh, halus lah fine okay save the flour ayak dulu tepung bersama baking powder dan juga garam dalam mangkuk okay beat the egg save tadi ayak ya Beat the eggs and vanilla in a separate bowl. Ambil satu mangkuk yang lain. Pukul telur bersama dengan ekstrak vanilla tadi. Then add to the mixture. Lepas tu baru campurkan ke dalam uh, mixture. Campuran uh, tepung tadi. Fold until it is combined. Fold maksudnya awak punya uh, adunan tadi awak kena uh, fold. Lipat-lipat. Pernah tengok tak orang buat? Uh, macam dough donut ke you have to fold uh, this one you use uh, gunalah sendok ke apa yang perlu tapi cara uh, awak adun tu dalam kaedah fold uh, dia macam am um, kaut lepas tu uh, lipat lipat dalam mangkuk tu boleh imagine tak spoon the mixture into the paper cups okay spoon the mixture maksudnya sendokkan Uh, mixture campuran tadi yang kita dah uh, gaul-gaul tadi menggunakan teknik melipat tadi dalam mangkuk tu kita ambil uh, adunan ini adunan tepung telur semua tadi masukkan ke dalam paper cup okay, paper cup yang kita dah susun dalam muffin tin tadi bake for 18 to 20 minutes remove from the oven bakar selama 18 hingga ke 20 minit Lepas tu keluarkan daripada oven, cool for 10 minutes. Sejukkan selama 10 minit. Transfer onto a wire rack to cool completely. Alihkan lepas sejuk tu alihkan atas uh, wire rack. As we know, wire rack ni apa kita dah tengok. Untuk bagi dia sejuk secara sepenuhnya. Okay, tadi kita sejukkan 10 minit je, belum sepenuhnya. Then so we transfer onto a wire rack to cool completely. Put chocolate sprinkles on the cupcakes. Last kali, letakkan chocolate sprinkles on the cupcakes. Now your task is to complete the table using information from the recipe. You have to copy this table into your writing book and then you go back to the recipe cari maklumat equipment and ingredients equipment ni peralatan ataupun pekakas yang digunakan ingredients adalah bahan-bahan so ingredients are the food items makanan makan digunakan uh, you can find it here cari di sebelah sini sebelah kiri ni uh, okey bawah ingredients ni boleh senaraikan Make sure you have at least sekurang-kurangnya awak senaraikan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 di sini. Alright. And then equipment. Equipment ni peralatan. There are a lot of equipment being used uh, to make this uh, cupcake. So you choose. Contohnya, the example given is oven. Okay. I give you one more example. Uh, an equipment that is being used to make this cupcake is a muffin tin muffin tin boleh diletak di bawah equipment okay so you see muffin tin okay and then you uh, find at least sekurang-kurangnya kena ada lagi empat lah lepas tolak muffin tin ni uh, cari lagi tiga equipment okay there are more than that put here okay that is your task for today very easy okay class thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye